It is a Spanish football rivalry that quite simply speaks for itself. The two most successful teams in Spain with such passionate fans. Stay with us, we'll bring you all the action live from the Bernabeu as Real Madrid face Barcelona. It is true to say there's no love lost between these two sides, Real Madrid and Barcelona. And today they find themselves on a collision course here at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position. Sitting alongside me, ready to provide expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, look at Modric! And the keeper flings himself at the ball. So the corner played into the box. And in a crowded area, the keeper has managed to get there. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. David Alaba plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Toni Kroos starts with Luka Modric in central midfield. And the main goal-scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema. And here's the starting eleven for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Robert Lewandowski. Federico Valverde. Wasteful from Real Madrid. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Vinicius Junior. He's got to have a go here. Frankie de Jong. Well, he needed to read it to get there and did. Lewandowski. On to Jordi Alba. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. It's a short one. Not all that convincing defensively. And the textbook interception. Vinicius Junior. And threading it forward. The defender put in the challenge, and it might be a red card. And going short with it. Just the clearance that was called for. Modric. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, there we have it. This has been a really poor game so far. The players need to pick up the tempo and be a lot braver with their passing and their movement. This can only get better. He has time to play it over. Well blocked, but he must clear it away. Can he convert? Superb block. The save was a good one. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. And an effective clearance. And the first half is in the history books. Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. Barcelona have been awarded the throw-in. Marcos Alonso. Lewandowski. 
And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Beautifully disguised ball. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Playing it in. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Has eyes for goal! Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. Plenty of support here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, we often place the focus of attention on Karim Benzema. Might he be a bit disappointed so far, Stuart? It certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. They could nudge in front, and that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Valverde. And an astute piece of defending. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. They've given it away. Breaking at pace. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Just ten minutes remaining here. Kunde. Now with De Jong, Barcelona on the front foot in anticipation of scoring the winner. And it's going to run through to the keeper here. Sergio Busquets there to take it away. De Jong, surely, and a goal! Can you believe it? Reduced to ten men, but they simply refuse to give up. And with time running out, that might just be the winner. Incredible. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And we will have just one additional minute. Sergio Busquets. The final whistle, and not to be for Real Madrid. They have to accept defeat. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. Well, there's a good reason.